Okay, so I'm here with HP's latest netbooks for the education market. The 100E on the left, this is the Mini 100E, and the Mini 1103 on the right. Uh, obviously, these are designed for two different age groups. On the left, the 100E is the more durable model, and it's designed for the younger kids. And you'll notice as I close the lid that it is quite a beefy monster. It is a, a big sucker, but it is uh, obviously ruggedized so that if the younger kids drop it, they're not going to break it. We have actually done some three-foot drop tests with this one, so shh, don't tell the HP folks, but it does, in fact, just bounce. It does uh, very nicely on a drop. Uh, as you can see, it's got a handle across the back also, which is great for the younger kids. It makes it a little easier to carry and hopefully less likely to get dropped, which is a good thing. Um, on the uh, sides of it, you'll see the standard fare ports. I've got a microphone and a headphone ports. Those are separate, which is nice. An SD card slot, a standard USB, and an Ethernet on this side. And on the uh, left side, I've got a VGA out, so I can hook up to a projector, which is great. I have a USB port again, and in this one it's interesting, I've got a modem. So if you're in one of those rural areas where broadband isn't real prevalent, this model might be of particular interest to you because you can send it home and your kids might still be able to get on the internet. Uh, on the inside, I've got a spill-proof keyboard, which again is good for the younger kids, uh, and I do have discrete buttons on the trackpad. Uh, I've got a standard uh, VGA webcam in this one as well, uh, and under the hood I've got uh, typical uh, netbook hardware. I've got a N455 at 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, and I have a 5400 RPM 160 gig hard drive. So, uh, you know, typical netbook fare worked very, very well. I haven't had any trouble with the Linux distribution that we've installed on it. Uh, it took a little tweaking, but it works out very nicely on this model. So if you have the younger kids, it's a good one to uh, take a look at. I'm not a real fan of the keyboard. It feels a little bit too flat, but uh, with the kids, I don't think they're going to really have a problem with that. So not a bad model worth considering. Uh, to keep in mind the size of it again. It may be a problem for some of your netbook carts, but Probably not, so uh, just keep in mind it is a little bit larger than typical. Uh, my favorite netbook of these two, of course, is the 1103. I think it's uh, just a little bit nicer. It's obviously quite a bit smaller. Uh, it doesn't take up near as much space. It feels quite a bit lighter. As you can see, it is very thin by comparison. Uh, it is also about the same price, so you can choose between ruggedized or a uh, nicer look. Uh, this one has uh, standard ports on it as well. I've got SD2 uh, USBs on this side. Behind this door, I've got an Ethernet port. Uh, over here, I've got one more USB. I've got a combined headphone port or headset port, so it's got audio in and out in one port, which is kind of interesting. And a uh, standard VGA port here. Uh, standard VGA webcam on the inside. We've got a very spacious uh, touchpad here, which is nice. I've seen a lot of touchpads, which are kind of postage stamp size. Uh, and this one gives you a lot of real estate. And of course, I've got the discrete buttons, which is great. Um, the keyboard is not as nice as it was on the Mini 210. I liked the uh, the chiclet style keyboard on the 210, and this one really isn't that. It's more like a little island style kind of a thing. Uh, it doesn't feel quite as good, but it's not not a bad keyboard. Um, one of the nice things about this particular model is you're you're not getting quite the beefy uh, plastic that you get on the 100E, but what you are getting is a 7200 RPM, 250 gig drive for the same basic price. And this model seems to be tweaked up a little bit for performance. It is significantly faster. It feels at least significantly faster than the 100E. I think it may have a lot to do with that hard drive. It just feels a bit more responsive. Um, one of the nice things about this one as well is HP has fixed a lot of the issues that I've had with prior HP netbooks. Uh, one of the biggest beefs I ever had was with the 210, which had a battery that popped out the back, if you'll recall, and the latches were really loose. So what happened is kids would grab this battery or grab the netbook by the battery with a flip a latch on accident and they'd skew it and then they end up breaking the case on the 210. This one doesn't suffer from that because the six cell battery is all enclosed as you can see which is very nice. Also from a repair perspective and being an IT guy I find this particularly interesting. I can take the battery off the back and look inside I see there's a little orange lever, lever here if I push it I can take the bottom right off of this model, which is fantastic, and get to all the components. So if I have a hard drive failure, I can pop out a couple of screws and pull the hard drive right out. I have uh, my memory access right there, so if I have any problems there, I can get to it. And of course, my wireless card is here, batteries right here, everything's right there and accessible. So if you are a uh, IT shop that likes to repair your models or likes to have quick access to them, that is another great feature on this netbook. Um, I really do like it, and I definitely could recommend it uh, for use in schools, this particular model. And the 100E really too, they are very good models. So uh, those are HP's latest offerings. I once again thank HP for uh, loaning those to me. It's been a joy to use them and um, I hope you'll uh, take a look at them yourselves because they are nice little netbooks.